Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. Our readings this week are Acts chapters 20 through 28 and Romans chapter 1. Our memory verse this week is Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, which in the New King James reads this way. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. We've looked this week at how Paul lived and believed this statement. And we've looked at some examples. We want to close this week by looking at one of the most famous examples of Paul's interaction with someone and how Paul always was looking for that opportunity to reach people with the gospel. We're familiar with the idea that Paul was imprisoned and he was, kept, he was taken into prison in Jerusalem and he was being prepared to go to Rome. He stood before Felix and he appealed to Caesar. But Caesar then, Caesar, uh, Felix then brought him before Agrippa a Jewish ruler, and provided him the opportunity to present his case to Agrippa. And it's interesting because uh, he begins this in chapter 26 and verse 1 of the book of Acts. Acts chapter 26 and beginning in verse 1. Agrippa said to Paul, you are permitted to speak for yourself. Here again is Paul in a situation where he can try to explain why maybe he shouldn't be prosecuted or why he shouldn't be uh, in prison. And yet, what does he do? He uses this as an opportunity to preach about Jesus. And he says, I think myself happy, King Agrippa. This is in verse 2. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because today I shall answer for myself before you concerning all the things of which I am accused by the Jews, especially because you are expert in all customs and questions which have to do with the Jews. Therefore, I beg you to hear me patiently. And he begins to talk again about how he had persecuted Christians and about how he encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus to go and persecute more Christians. And then in verse 15, we have this exchange between Paul and our Lord. So I said, who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness, both of the things which you have seen and of the things which I will yet reveal to you. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles, to whom I now send you, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive the forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. How much does that sound like what we read about in Romans chapter 1? Paul talking about his willingness to not be ashamed of the gospel because of its power of righteousness through faith, and then turn around and talk about how wicked the world is. And this is the very commission he's given by God, given by Jesus himself. I'm going to send you to turn people from unrighteousness to righteousness. And here is Paul before King Agrippa, the highest ruler of the Jews. And what is he doing? He's trying to teach him about Jesus and the importance of serving Jesus. He goes on to say in verse 19, Therefore, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision, but declared first to those in Damascus and in Jerusalem and throughout all the region of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that they should repent, turn to God, and do works befitting repentance. For these reasons the Jews seized me in the temple and tried to kill me. He said, the reason I'm here is I believe in Jesus. I saw Jesus. I believe in him. I am serving him. And that is why I stand before you condemned. And this is where we remember the very famous quote of Agrippa, where in verse 28, Agrippa said to Paul, you almost persuade me to become a Christian. There's been a lot of debate about what Agrippa meant by that, whether he was truly that close to becoming a Christian or whether he was mocking Paul for the idea that he would try to persuade him to become a Christian in such a short time. Look at what Paul says. Paul said, I would to God that not only you, but also who, all who hear me today might become almost and altogether such as I am, except for these chains. He said, yeah, Agrippa, I'm trying to convince you and everybody here to become a Christian. Do we have that kind of faith? Do we have that kind of confidence in the gospel of Jesus Christ? That we can say, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. We thank you for thinking on these things and joining us this week. 
and hope that you will join us again next week. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.